Anyways, I decided to make an updated video for the Fanimation Benito ceiling fan in my living room because I finally had it fixed. Now, what the problem was, if you want. If you, had, if you hadn't watched my old video of this fan, from when I first started YouTube, the problem was, high speed was really slow, meaning would actually go faster than high. And then it came to the point where high speed was almost as slow as low speed. So, they eventually decided we had to have it fixed. Anyways, we got it fixed, and now it moves a lot more air, and goes a lot faster, and it performs like a champ. So, first things first, I'll just take around and show you all the tags and everything for you to you haven't seen it before. Hope you guys can see it properly. Anyways, the guy actually had to take the whole fan down when he was replacing the capacitor. <laughs> that is the problem. <coughs> <coughs> since, it's just, since it was just a capacitor, he didn't know he had to take the whole fan down, but apparently he did. But anyways, let's turn the fan. Let's not turn on the light. Now the thing with this fan receiver unit is that when you turn off the fan, if say the fan is on, on the fan is on right now and the light is off. If you turn off the light, so if you turn off the fan by the main power and turn it back on again, the whole thing will reset and the fan will be off and the light will be on for brightness, which is something I don't like about this. I'm assuming the newer fan animation modes can be programmed. I think I've heard that the newer animation remotes can be programmed not to do that, but because anyways, I've the electrician has told us that this remote's been discontinued, and there's a newer version which is better. So yeah, this remote is getting finicky, so I'm assuming we might replace it soon. But if you do replace it, we'll have to replace the whole receiver unit and whatnot. Anyways, I'll turn off the little Emacs and brand pedestal that I have running so I can hear this fan better and just turn it low. I lost the close that window that's letting in all the sound of our neighbor's air conditioners. This fan is a decent low speed, and when you wish it, it, it could be slightly slower. I mean, this would be okay for a medium low, and they, what I would want is for this to be the medium low speed. Sorry, what I'd want is for this to be a far speed fan, this would be the medium low speed, and there would be a low speed which is a lot slower, which we can use for air circulation, when it's like winter, and heat recirculation, without getting a draft. Otherwise, it's a decent performing fan. I like it. Trying to be quiet. 
here. <coughs> Two top views. Keep this fan on loop all night actually. Just to stop the air from getting too stale and so and to help prevent mold from growing. What is ironic because one time mold actually was growing on the fan. So, so we decided to just turn on the dehumidifier whenever we get just humid to stop mold from growing in place. But this mold act was actually growing behind the cabinet as well. So yeah. Anyways, let's start the medium. Medium is actually faster than it was when we first before the fan was repaired. And the fan actually goes fast, faster than it did. The fan right now actually goes, right, the fan after it was repaired actually goes fa faster than it ever did since we first, since we first got it because the, elect the, the electrician told us that I think he said that this fan is already not working properly with when we got it back in 2013. And the new capacitor might actually be better. Might be like an upgraded version of the of the older capacitor. So yeah. Anyways, I'll show you how it's decent high speed actually. Before it, it would be a lot weaker than this. <coughs> But now it runs on high speed, like a high speed should be. And it actually goes a lot faster than some of the other pictures, don't translate the same. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. I mean the fat swing and the curtain swing and the dots. Ah. I'm gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes, but I'll probably fail. This fan is actually pretty powerful now. Moving that, but anyways, I'll turn it off and let's do a spin, and we can do a spin down. And just turn the little pedestal fan back on.
Yeah. I'll show you the starter from high speed. So the starter from high speed, the startup to high speed from off. And one thing I forgot to do is show you the. Let's give you an air flow test of low speed. Which is something I should always do. I should always do like an air flow test of low speed and high speed. Oh, this video is long. I'm actually going to make a shorter video for you. Those of you who don't want to watch this 12 minute video. Anyways, there you guys have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.